MEPs in Brussels draped in Ukrainian flags, showing their support for Ukraine. And the president under fire, receiving a standing ovation. Between bombardments in Kiev, Ukraine's Vladimir Zelensky spoke via video link to the European Parliament. Can you imagine this morning two cruise missiles hit Freedom Square? Dozens of victims. This is the price of freedom. At moments, the English interpreter appears to hold back tears. We are fighting just for our land and for our freedom. Emotions shared by the House as Zelensky called for EU membership. We have proven our strength. Prove that you are together with us. Then life will win over death and light over darkness. MEPs have now adopted a resolution calling on Russia to stop the war, for the EU to boost humanitarian aid and grant Ukraine candidate country status. I do think that there are moments in time where you need to have the courage to take great strides ahead. And if you look at previous uh, waves of enlargement, uh, it was always a political decision that had to do with security, with freedom. Also in the resolution, a call to increase defensive weapons to Ukraine. But some MEPs have reservations. Because that would threaten also a further escalation of the war, that it becomes an international conflict and that might uh, immediately uh, develop into a large-scale war or a, uh, one of the bigger wars in Europe involving also other countries. Outside the European Parliament, a demo to keep pressure on the people in power. And on the other side of the building, the yellow and blue of Ukraine's national colours, echoing the same yellow and blue of the EU's flag. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Brussels. Well, as part of the EU's response to the war, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen says Brussels will provide 500 million euros in extra funding to Ukraine. She called President Zelensky and the Ukrainian people a true inspiration and said that the European Union and Ukraine are now closer than ever before. This is a clash between the rule of law and the rule of the gun, between democracies and autocracies, between a rules-based order and a world of naked aggression. The destiny of Ukraine is at stake, but our own fate also lies in the balance. We must show the power that lies in our democracies. We must show the power of people that choose their independent path freely and democratically. This is our show of force.